Hey, what's up? In this video, we're going to create a wavy line using the wave warp in After Effects. So let's create a new composition, Control N. I'm using a HD Com 1920 by 1080. Let's change it to 10 seconds. Okay, before we begin, I'm going to create, I'm going to show grid, snap to grid. I'm going to turn on snap to grid, view snap to grid. And uh, I have my proportional grid here. So I'm going to use Press G, press G to create my, to get my pen tool out. I'm going to go in here to the middle of the line. Click, snap here to the middle and then hold shift. Click on the other side and sh it should give me a straight line. Let's bring this in. Okay, so by the way, I'm using the mouse scroll to go in and out. When I click on my middle mouse button, I get a hand tool. So you can shift this around for those beginners out there. Okay, let's rename this as our wave line. We can remove our grids already. You can click on this, just turn them off here. So let's give our stroke with five. Select my this line here. Look for the wave walk. Bring it in. Okay, straight away you have a wave. Well done. You can adjust the height. And the width, as you can see, you, we get a lot of this uh, distortion here. Let's say we we go for uh, increase the width, the stroke, increase the stroke, and then you can see that if it, if it's too high, if it's too much, it can stretch the the stroke. So you might want to be careful with that. Direction on ninety degrees, wave speed. So you can either play around with the wave speed, set it to three. Let's make this a bit nicer looking. 15 stroke. Uh, so you can either animate it. So you can either animate it with the wave speed. Now we are at 3 or set it to 0. We animate it using the face. How I like to do it, alternate click on the face. Alternate click on the stopwatch here. And then time times 360, which is one full uh one full round. And then that's the that's the speed that it will move. If you, only, if you only need it to go the other way, you can negative 360. A good nice thing about this is that you can pin pin the edges or pin it on the center and just have the waves on both sides here. How you wanna play with it is up to you. In, in my next video, I will go through how we create this with the repeater.